Hey, it's Deepesh here and in this short video, I want to show you how to use the Avatar Builder within Advertiser, which is one of our agents, the 5W Avatar Builder, and then use the free form option of Deepesh AI, which is built on a chat GPT style interface to build your campaign structures. So as a reminder, the agents are here to give you structured results. So if you build an avatar, you can build copy, you can build headlines and things like that. And it's built on structures that I've pre-built in the background, which just saves you the time of knowing what to do and what to prompt and things like that. But what I'm gonna do for this example is to show how we can take an avatar, and I'm just gonna use this preset one as an art, as an example. How we take that avatar information, we prime the AI agent, and then we start to generate some campaign options as well. So. I'm gonna open the Deepesh AI in a separate tab here. And what we're gonna do is when the results come back from the AI in terms of building our avatar document, I'm gonna show you what you need to take across in order to build your campaign structure and the process that I go through as well. So first of all, the app here, Deepesh AI, is built on ChatGPT, but it's been uploaded with information from the BPM method as well. So the idea is, and we're still going through this process of getting lots and lots of information from PDFs and videos and things that I've done and feed it into the AI. The idea is that you can continue building on knowledge that I've put in and put your own custom data into that as well. So here's our avatar document that's come back and this is based on structures that I put in the background just to make it faster for you to pull out what you need for targeting so I'm going to pull out these first three sections so these are who and what emotional wise functional wise I'm not going to pull out the why nots or anything like that and what I'm doing is I'm going to prime the AI as well so use the following information to give me a Facebook ad campaign structure idea. Like this is just to give you an idea of a prompt. So I'm just gonna paste that in. So I've given it the in information. Now, what I wanna show you by doing this is you don't need to be an expert in any of the niches and, and things that you're working on. You could literally just start working with a client or take up an offer or look at different product that you're working on and kind of really get those ideas on how to structure uh, what you're doing. So. First of all, it, I, it knows that it's a lead generation campaign because you're giving away uh, a free lead magnet. It's gone for, and here's the thing, like it's giving you structural ideas. So for example, it's saying have one campaign where you're actually building different ad sets based on intent. So ad set one is awareness, business owners interested in online marketing, capture attention by addressing their desire for increased revenue. So that's all good. Then we go back and say, give, me a full campaign structure top of funnel including targeting and add headline let's put add headlines hooks so this is just an example of building towards something that's customized to what you're after so i'll just show you what comes back so campaign objective um, awareness target business owners um, and it's giving you the hooks and ideas. And, and the idea is you can kind of build on from this as well. So business owners interested in online marketing, uh, attention, business owners unlock the power of digital marketing, are you business owner, etc., etc. Give me the actual interests I can target for each for this campaign. So I'm just gonna put that in. And, and this is how chat GPT works this is how the AI interface works it won't always give you the answer straight away and this is why in the app that we built we build the controls in so every agent you select we've gone through extensively instructing exactly what we want it's 95% accurate it's, it's not gonna be 100% right now it will at some point but we're giving the AI very fixed structures. So it's like, you know, come back with rebuttals and then explain that and things like that. So with the open interface, i.e. the chat GPT style, there is some back and forth. So just need you to understand that's the difference between the two different tools. So it's given some interest here. So targeting small business owners, small business owners, entrepreneurship, business development, online marketing, e-commerce startups. I'm pretty sure all of those are active Facebook interests right now. Uh, targeting frustrated advertisers, 
then you've got these interests. I'm not sure all of them are in there. And the idea is that you then take them into Ads Manager and you can then um, set those up. So targeting aspiring entrepreneurs, targeting growth oriented business. And what this is doing, which is really cool, is let's say I wanted to do a campaign for this SEO client and I, I haven't really run ads for an SEO business before. I would come in and say, okay, I'm gonna set up a conversion campaign. You can do lead generation. I'm gonna do a conversion campaign. I'm gonna have four ad sets. These are my interests and I know what I'm gonna be targeting based on the copy ideas from here. So uh, targeting frustrated advertisers, business owners frustrated with limited results from paid advertising, tired of wasting money in effective ads, unleash the potential of high convert campaigns. So then I might say, give me three ads for ad set one using the copywriting style of I'm just going to pull, pull out Frank Kern, for example. So this is how you go on a back and forth. And you can literally build campaigns within five or 10 minutes for any niche where you don't have an expertise. You don't need a copywriter. You don't need to be a Facebook ads expert. It's giving you pretty much everything you need. So, you know, I've built now an idea of campaigns. I know which ad sets I'm going to include in the campaigns. I've got my interests set up. And now I've also got my headlines, my hook, and also my copy that I can then go and run in. Now, the difference between this copy, so this is top of funnel copy, and what we can produce from our app is that this has a more controlled experience. So for example, if I do Facebook ad copy cold, and I'll just do that, you can compare and contrast the two. So this is without as much constraint. So I'm letting the AI decide what a good cold ad for Facebook needs to look like. Whereas in the app, we've pre-programmed that with knowledge based on you know me running thousands and tens of thousands of different ads over the years and built that into a structure. So that's about finding your style and what works for you. Attention business owners, you're running paid ads to generate leads, discover the untapped potential of SEO. There's a few minor things here. I'm here to help you unlock the hidden gold mine of free leads. You might not be aware of SEO can complement your paid ads. Let me show you the incredible power, etc. So it's built on, on something which is structured in a specific way. These cold ads are a bit more direct and you need to find your style. Now, as a little tip here, I'm going to copy this to clipboard and because at the moment we don't have the option to switch emojis off, it is coming. What you can do is come into here and say, rewrite this without the emojis. Oops. So you can just paste that in and it will just kind of rewrite it. So just as an idea how you can kind of clean copy and things like that, you can kind of do that here. That was just a side thing just to explain. But that gives you an idea of how you can start to build your structures. Then you might say, if I, and, and by the way, one of the things to notice is context is locked in. So right from the start, we started by briefing on emotional states and things like that, and the fears, it's using that in every iteration of the ad. So, so what we can do here is say, for my SEO audit lead magnet, what headlines can you suggest or what titles can you suggest? So it's just kind of open-ended and asking what it could come up with. So SEO power playbook, ultimate SEO audit checklist, for example, give me a summary for, let's say title three, let's see what it comes back with. So dominate your search results, get your free SEO audit and outrank your competitors. This title highlights the opportunity to gain a competitive advantage in the search results. Give me 10 chapters for this. So here are 10 chapters. And, and what it's doing is just giving you ideas. It's not to say this is exactly what you need. Write 300 words for chapter one, just to give you an idea. And you can kind of use this to build content and I don't recommend you use this exactly as it is. You must go through and write this in your own uh, language and things like that because first of all from a prospect's point of view they can kind of tell that this feels too official. It's, it's you know not necessarily in, in, in a tone of voice that's relatable but also you need to get past potential blockers which might pick up on AI content but this is just as advice. And then I might say write a 10 email sequence for this lead 
magnet and we put that in and then what it'll do is go back and give you the headline and the content and again make some edits and changes especially for email and especially for ad platforms because they are pretty good at coming back with um ideas uh, uh, coming back with the 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 difference between what is ai and what's not as well so just kind of bear that in mind as you're going through so it's come back with email one welcome to dominate uh, search results here's some copy download your guide uncover hidden opportunities and what it's done is to say continue the sequence with emails three and four focusing on those give me email three to ten subject lines so then in, you can kind of just at least get an idea of the structure. So unleash the power of on-page optimization, authority, SEO, content, etc., etc. So it's given you a 10 email sequence and very quickly you can start building that out and then push that into whatever process you're using. Now, I don't know how long it's taken me, 10 minutes to go through this process. I could probably go into a niche create some ads, cre create the ad campaign structure, the lead magnet, the email flows. I could do that all within 60 minutes, if not less, and, and actually get that copied into all the systems. So you could literally launch into a new, new niche. Let's say you're an affiliate marketer and you've picked up a new offer. You can do that within 30 to 60 minutes. If it's a product you own, if it's a new product idea you've got, you can literally just roll through this using the AI where you've started off with your avatar built from uh, the advertiser app and then you're pushing that into the free text AI to develop it further. Now, as we go through, we'll be putting more and more um, agents into here. So it's all done for you and pushed into different systems. But for now, this is how I'm using it. This is how I'm using the uh, structure of the advertiser app plus the AI flexibility in the chat to create uh, funnels, landing page copy, emails, email hooks, 10 times faster and I can do it myself. In fact, I'm working with uh, a virtual assistant. I'm training up to do this just to prove that you don't need to be an expert at writing email headlines, email copy, lead magnets, things like that. Literally anyone can go on and do this themselves just by using the tools that are available.